At Exalta, our core values include a commitment to the well-being of our employees, our customers and the environment on a global level. As part of that commitment, we've adopted CLP standards. The EU revised its hazard communication standard in 2009 to align with the United Nations GHS. The required changes to labels and safety data sheets for CLP compliance are designed to help workers better understand the hazards associated with the chemicals in their workplace. Let's take a look at what this means for you. First, let's take one last look at the familiar hazard label. Its structure, showing hazard pictograms and phrases, was clear and recognized. Now let's explore the CLP compliant label, which incorporates new design elements to help communicate important safety information that you need to know at a glance. Let's start with the signal word. The use of a signal word on the label indicates the severity of the potential hazard. There are two levels of severity. Danger, for major hazards, and warning, for less extreme situations. Only one signal word will be used on each label. The precautionary statement describes the recommended measures that should be taken to minimize or prevent adverse effects resulting from exposure to a hazardous chemical or improper storage, handling and disposal. The hazard statement describes the nature of the hazards of a chemical, including, where appropriate, the degree of hazard. For example, may produce an allergic reaction. Hazard statements are specific to the hazard classification categories and to the chemical. Users should always see the same statement for the same hazards, no matter what the chemical is or who produces it. Pictograms are incorporated into the CLP label to help visually indicate potential hazards at a glance. A pictogram is square in shape, set at a point, and includes a black hazard symbol on a white background with a red frame. Depending on the hazard classification, these eight pictograms can apply to Axalta paint products. The flame pictogram signifies a number of potential hazards, including flammables, pyrophorics, self-heating, emits flammable gas, self-reactives, organic peroxides. The exclamation mark indicates irritant, skin and eye, skin sensitizer, acute toxicity, narcotic effects, respiratory tract irritant, hazardous to ozone layer, non-mandatory. The health hazard pictogram indicates several potential hazards. Carcinogen, mutagenicity, reproductive toxicity, respiratory sensitizer, target organ toxicity, aspiration toxicity. The corrosion pictogram indicates skin corrosion, burns, eye damage, corrosive to metals. The environment pictogram signifies aquatic toxicity. The flame over circle indicates the potential for oxidizers. The skull and crossbones pictogram signifies acute toxicity, fatal or toxic. The gas cylinder pictogram signifies gases under pressure. The safety data sheets will be adjusted accordingly. During the transition period, ending in June 2015, the old and new hazard classification will be shown in Section 2. Now we'll take a closer look at the important sections in the hazard identification. Section 1. Identification shows all information needed to identify the product and the contact details of the supplier. Section 2. The hazards identification shows both the old hazard classification and the new CLP details. Section 3 shows the compositional details of the hazardous ingredients that the product's hazard classification is based on. Exalta recognizes that we must be stewards of the environment in which we operate, the products that we manufacture and the communities in which we live, while maintaining the security of our people and assets. Our commitment to sustainability provides a lens to measure our performance. Our everyday actions must make sense to our customers. At the same time, we endeavor to meet society's expectations wherever we do business.